This week's Torah portion tells a story of when the Jews received the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, right? Adonai is the only God. Don't worship idols. Don't take God's name in vain. Do keep Shabbat. Do honor your parents. Don't murder. Don't commit adultery. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't covet. Yeah, those Ten Commandments that the Jews went to Mount Sinai to receive. Isn't it strange that this parsha isn't named the Ten or Commandments or Sinai? and instead is named after Moses' father-in-law Yitro, Moses' non-Jewish father-in-law? This week begins with Yitro coming to see Moses and bringing along his whole family. What he finds is Moses working himself to exhaustion, trying to answer all of the questions that the people have and give all of the judgments to the Israelites. From morning to night, Moses judges the people. Who should get this lamb? Who is responsible for this slave's injury? How shall we split this portion of wheat? Morning, noon, and night, Moses is providing judgments. His father-in-law, Yitro, like all grandfathers, would like to see Moses spending a bit more time with his family. Now, he has two ways to try and fix this. The first, which is the easiest, is to lecture Moses on all of the reasons he should be spending more time with his family and less time at work. Moses probably would have felt guilty promised to change his ways, and then nothing would have changed. Instead of lecturing Moses, Yitro looks at it from Moses' point of view. Moses knows that the people need to have someone helping them make these decisions, but can only see himself acting as the judge. Yitro offers another solution, a solution that meets the needs of Moses, Moses' family, and the Israelites. Yitro suggests to Moses that he set up a system of judges and courts. He tells him that men can be trained to make the decisions and help settle arguments. Moses sees that his father-in-law is making a wise suggestion and appoints judges to make the decisions about splitting a portion of wheat, taking responsibility for an injury, and ownership of a lamb. Then Moses was able to go back to his family and share the responsibility of judging with more in the community. This portion reminds us not only to pay attention to the big commandments, but to look for solutions before complaining to a friend about their behavior. Yitro didn't just complain to Moses, he offered a solution. Think about times when you wish someone would do something in a different way. Did you complain about what he was doing, or did you offer them a way to do it differently? This portion tells us that we have the responsibility to help others with suggestions rather than just complaints. How can you be a little bit more like Yitro?